Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Blue Maxima and I'm here checking out Broken Sword 5 The Serpent's Curse. You might be wondering, why are you looking at a game that came out bloody ages ago now? Other than, you know, it being a better late than never. And, well, the thing about that is that it's currently, if you watch this video within like the first, say, 3-4 weeks that it's up, it's currently free as a PlayStation Plus thing for Vita. And I meant to actually do a video on this game back when it first came out, I just never got around to it. I ended up buying it and I played it for a couple of hours, but I just, well, I just didn't have the opportunity. I must have run out of time or something. So I figured I'd come and take a look at it now. Just FYI, it is a point and click adventure game. So this video is going to be rather slow. And if you're the sort of person who likes to figure these sorts of things out for themselves, you'll probably want to avoid this video because of spoilers, but since I'm coming back to this game, that should give you an idea of how much I actually like what I see so far. When I first picked this game up, I thought to myself, uh, I don't really know, I don't play that much in the way of point and click adventure games, but maybe this one will be good? Turns out it was, yet I didn't do a bloody video on it. So I came back to it thinking, oh, I remember this being good, turns out it was. So we're just going to have a quick look through the options menu before we go do anything else. So if I have a look at the options menu, you can change your three audio levels, which is fine, but the default balance is actually pretty good, as far as I can tell. Not actually that much in the way of music to get in the way of like voices or sound effects, but whatever. Uh, visual settings are... not what I meant to tap. Visual settings are quite interesting. You can turn off subtitles, the blue circles, which we'll get to, and you can also change the speech text from modern to classic, but you probably don't want to put it on classic, because it's that old-timey text where it's basically just letters against a background. Meanwhile, if you put it on modern, everything turns up in like a neat little speech bubble. It's extremely easy to read, so I don't know why you would bother to change it. Other than feeling really, really freaking um, nostalgic. You also have game settings here in which you can turn off your hints. I'm not going to do that. Just in ca just because I actually need to demonstrate how they work. Or not, not really need, but you get the idea. You can change the... Text of the language, which is nice, although I don't think you can change it between anything other than... Oh no, you've got a few options here. The only reason I say I don't think you have that many options is because you actually have the option to change the audio language as well. You can change it to French and German. And I have actually listened to all three dubs, and they are all pretty good. Like, I'm kind of surprised actually. I'm going to leave it on the English dub for the purpose of demonstration, but the French dub especially does definitely sound... Well, not out of place, we'll put it that way. So, we can restore, we can hit continue to load the last game that we had, but I'm going to hit restore just to be safe. You've got a autosave up there, and as you can see, I'm about two, two and a half hours in. But I'm going to do you all a favour and go and play a segment of the game that's not particularly spoiler heavy. So, it's, it's basically just after we started and solved the first few major puzzles. So, it's not like it matters. So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to tap this and then I'm gonna do a jump cut directly to the conversation that I want you to hear just to demonstrate the voice acting. Two coffees please. Nice work in there Nico. Whatever you did it worked. I just made a tiny distraction and Nave bought it. I think Nave would buy anything if it had blood on it. You know, this whole setup, the theft, the murder, it just doesn't make sense. What do you mean? So, this is a conversation. You can pick between one of many topics. Like I said, you can even I like, it was hand over thing. items and stuff to convince people to do specific things. And we'll be oh. doing more of that as we go on, but... Considering how Someone long that this cutscene is going to be, I might as well start talking for a bit painting. because it's a point-and-click adventure game. Guess. The cutscenes do tend Let to be really long. And I just want to point out just exactly. how nice everything looks. They've done an absolutely fantastic job with the background art, especially. Well, the like, look no at seal, the you? color and detail they've put into everything Josh there. Like the plants in the top left and the yeah, glass right. paint art on the right side there. It all just looks really nice. The text of the subtitles looks really good as well, so it's really easy to read, even on the Vita screen. Interesting. 
I think I got a couple of good shots of him too. Character but models I need to take are a better look at them at home. Well, they're still pretty good. Well, it's just let me know what you find. The mouth movements are a little bit weird, but when it, when they do animations like that, like that drinking animation, that that that's a good animation. I know that's a bit of a weird yeah, way to put it, but I actually quite like that animation going good on there. So you do actually play as these two well, interchangeably. You I swap between them from time to time, story won't and write itself. They're, they're um, both neat. They're both yeah. decent characters so far. It's I haven't actually played any of the other Broken Sword games, but I don't feel like I'm missing too, anything, yeah. just dropping straight into this one, thankfully. I watched her walk away. The sound of traffic, the sun shining, a crime to solve, and Nico back in my life. But still, just the, the overall presentation of this game is really, really nice, actually. So we're going to head to... Uh, Vera security because that's the only place we can actually go in the plot right now that'll let us do anything so we're just gonna head straight there and we're gonna go and a do a couple of puzzles I'm gonna no try and make it so that I don't look like exactly like I know the exact solution but yeah like look at this background art seriously like they've done an absolutely fantastic job with every little thing presentation wise in this game like all the clutter on the Guy's uh, desk right there. I don't want to call it a desk, but I don't know the bloody name for it. You got all that little art up in the top there. It looks great. So the game's control scheme is actually really simple. You tap on the ground to move in a specific direction, which is perfectly fine. However, there is also interacting with stuff, which can be a little bit more tricky on a, on a screen where you've only got the ability to tap it. But that actually works really well as well. So what you do is... You hold your finger down on the screen, and then you swipe it around. And when your finger gets close to something, these blue circles show up. And yes, that is what the blue circles are. So if you can, if you don't want them, if you like pixel hunting, you can turn them off. But if you hold your finger over this, you can lift your finger off, and then you can tap on it in order to activate the specific action. There are no actual button controls in this game. I mean, you can press X to go through dialogue a bit quicker. If you hold the R button and use the rear touchpad you will be able to scroll around the screen a bit. Thankfully, that is actually a button you have to hold down. And there are a couple of other things as well, like you press triangle to open the inventory, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Right now, we're going to actually go inside the door here and see if we can figure out what the puzzle is we need to solve. Also meet another character. Help! What's wrong? There was a monster. What? Where? On the floor! Get rid of it! Oh, the cockroach. Yes, the cockroach! Help! So we have a cockroach down here. Look, even look at this little bit of art going on here. Come here, little fella. Like, it is a pre-made animation. Like, it will do this time and time again every time you come in, but... That means they had to do 2D on, or at least 3D rendering on every frame. And either way, it looks really nice. They've done a fantastic job with even the little things I here. I was never going to catch it with my bare And hands. there's a lot of voice acting for everything. So every little action you can, well not every little action you can take, but a lot of them can do, uh, can do something. Also, I think that might be a reference to the game's Kickstarter. A dead mouse with the word stretch goal as the action thing there. But we can actually talk to the hysterical woman. Hello, I'm... Cockroach! I see the little beggar. But unfortunately, we actually need to go and um, solve a puzzle to do that. So, we can actually go look at the table here. Get another nice zoom in with some great detail on the desk. A uh, packet of cigarettes that we can fool around Roman with. A Russian brand cigarette. And that gets us a box of matches. It's a very... It's a very point-and-click adventure child, game because it is a point-and-click adventure. What the fuck am I saying? But I never could resist. The puzzles themselves are actually... Well, they aren't stupid. They aren't moon logic by any sense of the word, at least so far. They're not, they're not making it absolutely ridiculous at the moment. We do actually need something else in order to uh, fi finish that puzzle. So we'll come out here and actually talk to this guy. Hello, I'm George Stobart. Call me Bassam, and do please forgive me, but I'm in no mood to talk. 
I have a resounding headache. Bad migraine. You have a lot of stuff to talk to people about, and all these you lines of voice, buzzing and which is actually really neat, skinny. because it means you can even ask them I about stuff that's really not relevant attention. to them, and you'll can still you get broke? some good voice acting along is with it. Your sign? Not to mention all the characters... No, well, I call them characters. They're, they're more like real people. More or less. I mean, there are... A lot of different people you run into in this game, at least so far in the first two hours that I've played. And a lot of them are... They just feel like regular people. Like, they're not over the top. They're not uh, eccentric. Well, most of them anyway. There is a police detective who is so full of himself, I'm surprised he hasn't exploded yet. But other than that, the set of characters is just down to earth enough to make me believe that they're all real people, which is nice. Want to try fixing that sign for you? So he... Do you know what you're doing? He wants help fixing the sign. I know how to fix the sign, thankfully. This actually thing. stumped me back when I first got this then game. please do. I'm no good at electricals. Marketing analysis and predicting trends is more my thing. But yeah, you can also offer them, like, random objects. Smell It's kind of funny. <laughs> Especially once you catch that cockroach, which is... Oof. At least it's the real thing. Which is great. You can literally just offer the cockroach to people and they'll just flip out. It's kind of great. But anyway, we need to go and fix that sign for him to fix his headache. So let's go do that, shall we? We will tap on the sign to activate it. I took a good look at the sign. Salada Dinda. That's probably not how you pronounce that. But I wonder it was flashing. Yeah, some of the wiring is broken. So let's have a look I at the wire. The and well, we one way broke some of the letters. Flashing. However, now only half the sign was illuminated. There is a puzzle here. I'm more than happy to give you the answer to this one because, again, it took me a little while to figure it out myself. But basically, we, we have the ability to rearrange the letters. So if we arrange them in a certain way, see if you can figure it out before I replace too many more letters. But, you know, if you don't have it by. Whoop. If you don't have it by this point. It's probably going to look obvious now. Ah, that seemed like a good name. Hey, Bissam. How about this? I know it's not your name, but... Aladdin. Very cool. <laughs> That's a terrific name for my store. Hits every one of my USPs. Glad you like it. I did say before that not You're everyone was too eccentric, George. but this guy's a little eccentric. I'll give you that. For you. Bissam. Alright, but if we talk to him again, he will give us what we need to proceed and fix the to know cockroach a good way puzzle. To, catch a cockroach? to be honest, George, I'm better at questions on balancing budgets within a liberal economic framework. But as a layman, perhaps I could suggest you trap it? And please, whatever you do, don't squish it. Why is that? The entire family will catch the scent and arrive for the funeral. Ooh, we don't want that. The writing's pretty we good to too. Container of some it's entertaining. Then Feels like it has a bit of flavor this. to it. And since everybody has so much to talk about, it just makes the world feel all that more alive, which is, which is pretty nice. You also get commentary from the main leads every time you examine something. So if you if you examine anything, you'll get a voice line from them. Glad to help. It's, it's really quite nice. They've done a great job with the... They've done a great job with the world building, the writing, like pretty much everything. I, I, I really can't find too much wrong with this game, i got to say. At least in the first couple of hours that I've been playing it. Alright, so we open up our inventory and we can actually do a few things now. The game does have your typical set of combining things but let's just say for the sake of argument that we weren't entirely sure what to do here so we do actually have a hint system so if we tap the hint button you have everything you need to trap the cockroach so you can tap next hint and that'll give you a rough idea then you can tap the next hint and then you'll have basically the entire thing pretty much every puzzle in the game offers this sort of shortcut so right i need them i need the matchbox to be empty so yeah, he did that already, so we'll just put that down there. I set down my matchbox. Cockroaches like hiding in dark places. Not a bad idea when you think about it. Hmm. Cockroach wasn't going for it. 
I needed All right, we've got bait. So let's take the bait. I added some bait to the matchbox. <laughs> Even I was finding it hard to resist that little trap. Wait for him to wander in, because he's a curious little cocky, and we take the matchbox. Gotcha! It's a simple puzzle, but it gets the job done. Pretty much every puzzle... You are a gentleman and no mistake. Pretty much every puzzle in the game is like this. It's... At least All so far, anyway. I can't... I can't speak to how crazy they'll be later on. But at the same time, the first couple of hours of puzzles have been no moon logic nonsense. And I... Really do appreciate that, having played a couple of adventure games like oh this where the puzzles gosh, were sorry, ridiculous, I, I mean, so... The gloves, I just thought... Ah, easy mistake to make. If you haven't been reconstructed, that is. Oh, but I have been reconstructed. A number of times. From the ground up. I think that might be actually a meta joke, because this is the fifth Broken Sword game, <laughs> but... Oh well, so... We do actually have something that needs to be done here. So we actually kind of want to have a look at this black book. Hands off, mister. Yeah. Certainly not. That she book will is not let us look at private. the book. Since this is actually a lady as part of a private security company we're currently investigating. So yes. we can actually talk to her about stuff as well. This is pretty much the been a theft entirety of the game. It's walking around, talking I'm to people, solving... Control. Simple puzzles, yeah. and still, I'm sure you'll it's, get it. It just hears right on the money. I believe as far as I'm concerned, I mean, a, as a realistic point-and-click adventure oh, game, yes, you did. It Didn't. does pretty you much did. everything. I've got all day. But I didn't. <laughs> That's actually a pretty well-written ri segment. I'm sorry that I um. I'm sorry that I talked over the top of that because it some of the writing in this game is actually pretty good. But yeah, average. the. Just overall, Where did you get that? this game's At the gallery. presentation, its writing, its Simon. characters, we its puzzles. I was getting a just, bad like, feeling. I find it very hard to come up with any sort of meaningful criticism because it is, is really putting its best foot forward. And the best part is, this game is... Are you done? Only I want to The best part of this game is that it's, um... It's going to be Thanks. free for the next few weeks at least. If you get it on PlayStation Plus, it will be nice and free. The only downside is that because of the way this game was designed, which is um, they made it in two parts because the Kickstarter they did for this game only got them enough money to get like the first two thirds of the game done. Hello, we're security. We make you secure. Right, I got, I got actually got to tinker with the radio first, but yeah, um. Yeah, there we go. Wrong number again. Damn nuisance calls. But anyway, now if I walk away, she'll walk over to the radio and change that. Then we can look I in the book. I want to see what secrets the book might contain. See, very simple the puzzle. Phone. Call the phone to distract her, then fiddle with the radio to distract her again so we can steal the photo. And then we can show her the photo. But yeah, as I was saying... Thanks to the fact that this game is developed in two parts, the game itself on Vita is actually separated into two parts, this. which is a little bit odd and the reason why I don't own the entirety of the game, because they charged the same that's price for the two halves, which makes this so almost a full, a full retail title. I don't think it even cost that much on the PC, which was a bit odd, but as I said before, if you're on PlayStation Plus this month, get it for free. I do really think it's... I worth your time. It's not stupid. Together. It's not moon logic -y. It, it makes some sort of sense and doesn't leave you without too much idea of what needs to be done. So, I, just the paperwork. I admit, so, I like it. I like it a lot. I'm kind of surprised that I like it. They've done a really nice job with it, and it makes me want to check out the other Broken Sword games, although I've heard that they are a bit moon logic -y in and of themselves, but yeah. You can even talk to her about the horse races. It's just a nice touch. No, I just like hearing the sound of hooves. Oh, well, that's unusual. Don't be an idiot. I got 50 euros on lucky break. Ah, well, I hope you win. So do I, Sherry. So but yeah, now that now we can actually show the photo and get even more you info out of it. You're mean and rotten. You should keep that, you should back, to that back to me. No, I want to hear what Lane has to say about this. Oh, by the way, we have the cockroach in the... Matchbox. I caught the cockroach. 
look. Isn't he a sweetie? Ah! Keep it away from Everybody me. has that sort of reaction. It's great. Thanks. But yeah, now we can go uh, talk to the other dude and see what he has to say about it. But we're not actually going to do that because, you know, the more of a point and click adventure game you show someone, the more spoiled it is because that means they've just basically seen it. And this is a game that deserves a bit of playtime, even if it is via PlayStation Plus, because the devs still get a little bit of money on top of the PlayStation Plus thing. So it's not that big of a deal. And yeah, I like it. I think it's really well presented. It's got some great voice acting, some fantastic background art. The characters don't feel too over the top. The whole plot is at least somewhat interesting so far. And it's going to be free if it's not free it's going to be free by the time you see this video for a few weeks so if you are even remotely interested it's free why not oh and you get both parts too so it's not just part one you get part one and part two so there you go that was a quick look at broken sword 5 this has been blue maxima and i will see you all next time Aha, uh -huh, Mr. Stobart. What can I do for you? I caught the cockroach. Look. Excellent work. Just don't <laughs> let it loose near my stall. In a few weeks, this place is going to be buzzing with people, I hope. See, that's a nice touch. You can literally do that with anybody. I think I'll keep him. Even as a name. name even, as, even as a name for it. Interesting name. Old school. Comforting. Harmless. Hmm. I can see you're quite a strategic player, like George. It.